one is called ReZero Battle Royale from Echidna. I have no clue what that even means. Are we going to be doing like free for all? We're just going to be playing, putting characters in there and just betting who's going to win? Welcome to the first annual ReZero Hunger Games, a completely randomized battle. Wait a minute. Was that a cat? Was that Puck down there? The Puck Slander? I'm all for it. A completely randomized battle royale that I set up a long time ago when I was drunk. It's about to get weird, so let's not waste any time and start this off by introducing the 24 characters who are about to fight to the death. Okay. District 1, Natsuki, Subaru, and Amelia. They are the two main characters, but don't worry, in the Hunger Games, there's no such thing as plot armor. District 2, Rom and Roswell. These two might actually end up killing each other. District 3, the two half-blood siblings, Garfield and Frederica. Will are they fighting each other? To keep them alive? We're about to find out. District 4, two of the Archbishops, Regulus and Lai. District 5, the Assassin Sisters, Elsa and Meili. District 6 is Sekhmet and Rem. Two characters that love to sleep, except they won't catch a W if they're catching Z's instead. District 7 is Team Spirit. That's what they smell like. Puck and okay. Beatrice, two very powerful spirits, except now their contracts are with each other. District 8, Wilhelm and his wife, Theresia. They might be divorced by the time this is over. District 9, Zarestia and Halibull, our beloved characters from the Sloth If have returned for another. I'm always down for out of context, extra new characters that I've never seen. As long as it doesn't spoil like major shit in the canon story, I don't care. Their appearance, except I have a feeling they're not in Kararagi anymore. District 10, my personal favorites, Echidna and Otto. May the Autos be ever in their favor. District 11, the two most powerful characters in the series, Reinhardt and Petra. Last but not least, District- Wait, wait, I thought it was a Reinhardt and Felt for a second. Petra? You met the Reiner and Petra, he really ain't beating the fucking Lollicon allegations. Most powerful characters in the series, Reinhardt and Petra. Last but not least, District 12, the breast district ever, Priscilla and Minerva. That, ladies and gentlemen, is today's lineup for the ReZero Hunger Games. Okay. Before we begin, let me know your predictions in the comments section. It, it, are, are each districts pairing up and fighting together? I don't really know. I haven't really seen Hunger Games either. I, 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 I think that, like... You have like different zones and there's like people that represent it's like a team thing right who would win team team well uh district 11 because reinhardt is reinhardt reinhardt would just win no matter what but subaru is kind of bullshit because subaru can just return by death every time unless there's a damage that can be done to the soul and just kill him without and prevent him from you know return by death 11 how could Eleven lose? Because Reinhardt exists, right? Everyone else, I don't think really matters if Reinhardt exists, but um, Regulus is very powerful. Sekhmet's very powerful, but Regulus is stronger than Sekhmet, right? Roswell's very powerful, sure. I don't really know where he lines up with Sekhmet. I have no clue about these two characters in District 9. Theresa and Wilhelm, they're great and all, but I feel like they're, I don't know, just fucking Reinhardt. Eh. Am I underestimating Echidna? I don't know. I, I feel like Reinhardt would just win. Personally, I'm rooting for District 10, and also, I've always wanted to say this, but... <clears throat> This video is sponsored by Ra Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. I don't think the Echidna uh, sponsor code is gonna work after three years ago, but get that bag, bro. Get that fucking bag. Guys in game. All right, where were we? Oh yeah, the ReZero Hunger Games have officially begun. The cornucopia is filled with items and the bloodbath will commence after the countdown. One. Making the first move, Garfield gets a backpack full of camping equipment. Okay. I didn't take him for a camper. I figured he'd be more of a rusher, but I digress. Tia runs away from the cornucopia. Biako finds a canteen full of water. And Satella pauses time for everyone except Subaru, allowing him to grab a powerful set of weapons and armor. Wait, wait, wait. Satella can fucking do that shit for Subaru? That's not fair. That's Subaru and Satella then. Even in the Hunger Games, our boy Subaru is still getting assistance Bullshit. from the Witch of Envy. That's a bit of an unfair advantage if you ask. I mean, at that point, a Satella can also fight on behalf of Subaru. If that's possible, then, you know, Reinhardt versus Satella, that it said that it would never end, right? So now it's looking like District 1 and 11 is going to win. Me. Minerva and her teammate Priscilla both run away. Imagine that in slow motion. Rem and Sekhmet run away as well. I guess they're both awake, that's good to hear. Puck takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. An interesting weapon choice for Puck. Lai runs away. Theresia finds a bow. Another interesting weapon choice. I the fuck is a sorcery using a bow for? Guess she's the bow saint. Frederica runs away and <laughs> Reinhardt finds a dojin of himself and Regulus. What? Yaoi? BL? 
Who's taking the back shots? Vision of himself and Regulus. We want the numbers, Mason. Yeah, that's the key to survival right there. Halibur gives the video a like. Thank you. But Regulus has reflection, but it needs to be active. He needs to make a conscious effort to activate. Maybe he would let it down and receive back shots from Reinhardt. Thank you, Hallibur. Hey, everyone, be like Hallibur. Wow, finally some action. Wilhelm what? Shoves a what? A like. Thank you, Hallibur. Hey, everyone, be like Hallibur. Did you see that? Wow, finally some huh? action. Wilhelm shoves a spear up Elsa's ass. She gonna be fine. She can heal that up. That's first blood, ladies and gentlemen. Wilhelm just eliminated Elsa in one- <laughs> This is bullshit. No, Elsa and Laura accurately can take a spear up the ass and be fine. One of the most brutal ways possible. I guess after witnessing that, Rom and Otto decide to run away. Meanwhile, Dona throws rocks at Roswell from a <laughs> distance. That doesn't sound very effective. Anyway, Amelia uses ice magic to create a giant hammer. Oh. That's surprisingly realistic. Petra runs away from the cornucopia, and we can just ignore this last one. So that- Wait, what? Melee's urinating behind a tree. Why, why is that necessary? What the fuck does that have to do with the Battle Royale? Nor this last one. So that was the bloodbath, ladies and gentlemen. Not exactly as bloody as I expected. Because most dead, of the though. characters ran away. But now we're moving on to day one. So hopefully we'll get some more action this time. Frederica tries to cook food with fire magic. But fucks it up terribly and burns all her supplies. That's unfortunate. Garf turns into John Cena. Wilhelm tries to sleep through the entire day. And Subaru dies from an infection. For a Return by death. Second, I thought it said fan fiction, but I guess an infection makes a bit more sense. Return by death doesn't work in the Hunger Games. Oh, it's just fucking pointless then. Get out of here, bro. The fuck's that telecast stop an infection? Though, so rest in peace to Subaru. Minerva tends to lies wounds. Okay, that's like exactly what Minerva would be doing if yeah. she really was in a battle royale, so that's pretty accurate. Lore accurate? Theresia picks flowers. Also lore accurate? Yeah, again, it's almost a bit weird how realistic this simulator has been so far. Everyone seems to be staying in character. Except for Petra. Yeah, Petra joins- <laughs> Yo, if there- is there an if route where Petra actually joins the cult? I'm telling you, man, they're gonna worship her. It's her eyes. Petra has special eyes theory because she got her eyes gouged at that one time. I'm not letting that go. It's the witch cult. All right, Petra. Sekmet and Tia argue about politics. Boring. Dona and Priscilla split up. Puck, Rem, and Hallibur escape an attack by the Great Rabbit. Yeah, like mm. I said, guys, I made this a really Lucky. long time ago, so I totally forgot I added the Great Rabbit. I think the White Whale and the Black Serpent are in this too, so it might get interesting. Beako runs away from Roswell. Lore accurate? He calls him like a weird pervert. Oh, and Rom stabs Otto in the back with the trident. Still best, girl, still best girl Ram. No! Best boy has been eliminated. Wah, wah. I'm pretty disappointed about second, this one, guys, though. So it's now Elsa dead, Subaru dead, Otto dead. I'm also not surprised he was killed by Ram of all people. Reinhardt stalks Melee. That <laughs> That's lore accurate. He's a lollicon. Lore accurate. It's illegal. Emilia is so hungry, she tries to eat a lesser spirit. What the fuck? Right, it is the Hunger Games, but Emilia, it's only been one day. I think you should calm down. Regulus accidentally steps on a landmine. Wait. That'll be fine. And even if his reflection wasn't on because he was not aware, he doesn't seem to really take damage either, so fuck it. Does that mean he's dead? I'm assuming it killed him, right? Okay, four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Yeah, with the end of day one, we lost Elsa, Subaru, Otto, and Regulus. What? You can't just die as a fucking landmine. It's not looking good for districts one, four, five, and ten, but let's continue. There's still plenty of time for a comeback. Night one. Theresia, Minerva, Frederica, Dona, and Puck sleep in shifts. Kay. To be a part of that squad, Puck is one lucky son of a bitch. Wait, no. No, Puck's mother is not a bitch. I didn't mean that. If we go with that Puck is Amelia's dad, maybe, and that Echidna is Puck's mom. Amelia's grandma is a kid. <laughs> Amelia's mom is Minerva. If we go with the theory again, this is this is getting weird because of you know Puck, you know, being created as a spirit, even though he used to have a human form. Sekmet questions her sanity, and Lai gathers as much food as he can. That's kind of scary if you consider what food means to Lai. Priscilla explores a cave. I'd like to what? explore her cave. Bieko watches Amelia while she sleeps. That's kind of sus, Bieko. Rem convinces Hallibur to snuggle with her. I can't- The fuck? 
I mean, he is like a furry character. Can't blame her. Hallible would make an excellent pillow. Tia loses sight of where she is. Rom sets up camp. Reinhardt climbs a tree. And Wilhelm prays to the Witch of Envy. Amen. <laughs> He just joined a, he just a fucking big Hulk member now. To that, Wilhelm. Roswell steps on a landmine that triggers a chain reaction, killing both himself and Petra. No, not Pet- Bro, these landmines. This landmine has taken three people already. What the fuck? Landmine OP in the Hunger Games. Actually, you know what? Fuck Petra. I'm happy about this. Garfield receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, and once again, let's ignore- Melee taking a piss. Melee getting naked. Reinhardt was also stalking Melee. He ain't beating the allegations. Or this last one. Day two. Sekhmet makes a slingshot. Frederica okay. picks vegetables. Rom reads the web novel. And Priscilla gets her memories eaten. Wah, wah. Imagine this gets predicted. And this actually does happen in season three. At least it wasn't her memories. Reinhardt travels using flying magic. I don't think that's magic. Garfield sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Minerva escapes a Snowblight's attack. Oh, a Snowblight is the demon beast from Frozen Bonds, for anyone that doesn't know. Melee gains a divine protection. Hallible. Divine protection against fucking lollicons. Well, that's what she needs. FBI protection. Well, runs away from Amelia and Rem dies of dysentery. What? I actually don't remember what dysentery means. Yeah, I'm gonna search that up. What the fuck does dysentery mean, bro? Dysentery. Gastrointestinal disease. Um, include bacterial or parasitic infections. Symptoms include diarrhea, fever, nausea, vomiting, weight loss, and stomach cramps. You, you, you're just dying because your stomach hurts. Wah, wah. And I regret Googling that. Rem, I'm so sorry. That's a really shitty way to die. Donut <laughs> just barely escapes the white whale's mist. Well, thank God. Easy. If she got hit by it, my YouTube channel might disappear. Biako pledges her life Maybe. to the witch cult. All right, rule number- What the fuck? You too? Oh, Biako being the witch cult? That's crazy. For one of the Hunger Games, never trust a lolly. Wilhelm- I mean- no, no, I was gonna say, like, then again, Echidna- Well, Echidna's a witch. She's not part of the witch cult. Builds a shrine dedicated to Puck. Someone's a simp. Theresia overpowers Tia, killing her, and Lai hunts for other tributes, marking the end of day two. Same Tia as dead. last night, four cannon shots again. This time, it's for Roswell, Petra, Rem, and Tia. And the board has started looking a bit more even. All right, so basically- What team is looking the best right now? District 8, 12, 3, 7. They actually have more than, you know, one member started looking a bit more even. All right, so basically nothing happened during night two and day three was also boring. Literally no one died, so we might as well just time skip to night three. I'm Wilhelm for the kills Hallible as he tries to run away. Here we go. Meanwhile, Melee pees the bed. Yo, what's going on, bro? Is this random RNG? There's something going on here with the pattern of behavior of Melee being... She pissed herself twice now. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her, guys. I think Melee wants to take this video in a completely different direction, so we're just not even going to acknowledge her anymore. Rom and Amelia sleep together. All right, never mm -hmm. mind. Now I like the direction this video's going. Reinhardt dreams about Priscilla. The fuck? Is she in a lolly? Relatable. Theresia makes a bed out of dead animals. He's a fucking demon. She should be the called sword demon instead of Wilhelm. Biako and Garf start a fire, but accidentally burn down their camp. Minerva, Sekhmet, Dona, Frederica, and Puck sleep in shifts. And Puck with his arm again. And Lai cooks his food before putting his fire out. Lai is always thinking about food, isn't he? Well, that was yeah. night three. Let's proceed to day four. Biako and Frederica split up. Wilhelm forces Minerva to kill either Garf or Puck, and she decides to kill Garfield. Should have killed Puck that Debbie. What the fuck? Wilhelm can just force Minerva? Wait, okay, so Minerva killed Garfield, but Wilhelm forced her to do it. That was yeah. kind of confusing to read. I think Wilhelm's gotten a bit sadistic. I mean, right off the bat, he sodomized Elsa. He, he did, and he's also like worshiping the like the Witch of Envy. He also killed Hallible, and now he's forcing Minerva to kill people against her will. I think something's wrong with Wilhelm. Yeah, the shrine for Puck, I think Puck like disrespected it. He made a whole last shrine for Puck. And now that Puck is on the hit list, I'm sure something bad must have happened. His wife is going crazy as well. Theresia Woo! strangles Amelia with a rope. All right, so if My this God. was canon, Puck would try to end the world after that. So I'm curious to see how he's going to react. Melee sprains her ankle while running from Sekhmet. Sekhmet ain't fucking... Sekhmet is probably crawling on the ground. Rom, Lai, and Dona escape from Big Chungus. Priscilla dies from hypothermia. What? How could she possibly die from hypothermia? 
Her booba is so fucking huge, I'm sure that like no matter how cold she got, her body heat will be so high. Oh, now that's unexpected. Or you know what? Maybe Puck's trying to freeze everything, right? Maybe. That would make sense. Reinhardt prays to Volcanica and the cannon Dragon. fires four times once again, signifying the deaths of Hallible, Garfield, Amelia, and Priscilla. Damn, and I think that means that uh, District 1 is the first one to actually be out. Both team members are dead. Districts 1 and 9 have been completely- 9 as well. Zeresti and Hal about the same time. No, actually, Garfield too. Oh, a lot of people actually went out. Holy shit, I didn't realize. I thought I was focused on District 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Completely eliminate- Oh, no, no, 1, 2, 3. Only 3 districts are. 1. No, 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 no. I'm looking at the two fucking X's too wrong. It's 1 and 9. It's just 1 and 9. While 7 and 8 are the only ones with both tributes still alive. District 8 appears to be in the lead. Wilhelm and Theresia each have a kill streak of 2, but I'm not losing hope. Wilhelm I still believe in off. District 10. Alright, let's continue to Night 4. Sekhmet is attacked in her sleep, but survives. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Sekhmet while she's trying to sleep. Dona pees the bed. Or in other words, <laughs> spills the tea. Theresia... <gasps> She did put her piss in the tea, didn't she? Tia receives fresh food from Raid Shadow Legends, and these four characters sleep in shifts. Rom okay. gets a backpack, Melee forms a contract with Lai, and Puck and Wilhelm stay awake all night talking about life. That's the fuck? After you said you built a shrine for Puck, then you try to send a hit for Puck, Puck survived, and now they're talking about life? Okay. Wholesome. Day 5. The divine protection of the Sword Saint transfers to Biako and... That would be so hype. Bro, Biaku could just fuck shit up. She doesn't need mana anymore. She, she could just fucking use her sword. Reinhardt questions his sanity. That's an appropriate reaction from yeah. Reinhardt. Because if Biaku became the sword saint... Then I guess Reinhardt isn't anymore. That would mean she's Reinhardt's daughter. Even though Reinhardt's a virgin and much, much younger than Biaku. So the sword saint divine protection gets passed down in family. But Heinkel wasn't given. And that's why he's not even von Austria. He's like just Austria. Wonder what the requirements are. You're just determined at birth. Are you worthy for the sword saint? You know, um, like divine protection. I don't know. Like why it, it? I thought it would always go down, but sometimes it skips a generation. Anyway, Minerva finds an apple tree. For that's a bad. That's bad. That's bad. If you, if you have appas, right? That's, that's bad. We're never going to die. Fredrika falls and breaks both her legs, but heals herself with water magic. Dona prays to Volcanica. Rom hunts for other tributes. And Melee hunts demon beasts for food. Laura, you're kind of not really. She controls them instead. Hey, that's what they were made for, right, Daphne? Yep. I don't know if I would call this hunting, though, considering Melee can literally control demon beasts. Wilhelm yep. makes a slingshot who... The fuck? So did Sekhmet before. Gives a shit. Wow, Puck just got a double kill. What an amazing play. Ladies and gentlemen, District 7 has officially the taken the lead. Let's continue to... Puck and Biko, they're clutching right now. Honestly, Puck is popping off. Night number 5. Alright, not much happened. No one died. Let's just time skip to day 6. Wilhelm practices archery, Minerva boils water, and Frederica okay. slices Biko's stomach open and takes a bite out of her intestines. But she doesn't have intestines. We saw in season 2 when Elsa cut her up. It was just like spirit-like things coming up. Maybe the most graphic death so far, Beatrice has been eliminated. Damn. Reinhardt doesn't give a shit though. He's just fishing casually. Melee uses ice magic to turn Dona into a statue? No. What? No, no. I'd like to challenge this play. I know for a fact Melee can't use ice magic. That's just BS. Sekhmet is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Wah, wah. I don't know why she didn't just use her unseen hands. Rom finds a flip phone but doesn't know how to use it. Oh shit. Mr... Who, is us? Who has our flip phone right now? It's, it's the merchant dude. Something... Ah, I forgot his name. He's in Lugunica. We talked to him. He also helped with the deal shit. Yeah, Russell Fellows. That guy, that guy. He lost the flip phone, I guess. Now Ram has it. The most important media in the world. I want her number. Puck thinks about home, and that concludes day... S oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? ...but doesn't know how to use it. I want her number. Puck thinks about home. Why would you do that? Why, why, why would you have a map of Japan? Why is Japan home to Puck? Why would a kid not do this? This isn't random. This is very intentional. Okay, let's, let's, let's build a logic. What is Puck? Maybe Amelia's dad. Why? I don't know. This, he's always been the father figure. But also, he used to be a human. It's very heavily implied. Uh, it, 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 but, but if we're gonna think that he's a human that existed a long time ago, 
pretty calamity, even to the point where he may have fucked Minerva and Puck is supposed to be an elf during that quote-unquote humanoid thing. How does this relate to Japan? There is the basketball shit, yeah. There, 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 there is the basketball shit. We were memeing around with the seal, like, what is the seal? Well, Amelia got a basketball in her place. Maybe the seal is to go to a different world, like Japan, I don't fucking know. Oh, and that concludes day s Oh, never mind, it's not over yet. We've just encountered an event. The white whale appears, and Sekhmet is erased by the whale's mist. Puck and Minerva try to 1v1 the whale, but lose. Dude, this whale is defeating just everybody. Lose? Wouldn't that be a 2v1? Rhino also, they're playing the ringtone right now. Heart escapes, Melee dies, Rom escapes, Frederica escapes, and Wilhelm escapes too. That was insane. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. We lost Beiko, Dona, Sekhmet, Puck, Minerva, and Melee, and we are now left with our final- Here we go. Who's gonna win? Reinhardt, Wilhelm, Frederica, or Ram? Imagine Reinhardt wins and it's just lower accurate. Four, Rom, Friedrika, Wilhelm, and Reinhardt. It looks like Wilhelm's got the most kills at the moment, but let's be honest. Reinhardt is the most overpowered character in ReZero. There's yeah. just no way he loses this, right? Imagine he loses immediately. There it is. A tree branch, bro? How the fuck do you lose to a tree branch? Rom stabs Reinhardt with a tree branch. All right, I guess that was Reinhardt's weakness all along. This okay. whole time, all we had to do was poke him with a stick, and he would just fucking evaporate, I guess. These Hunger Games- It's his Achilles heel. Frederica also died from thirst, so it's only Ram versus Wilhelm left. ...have really gone off the rails. It started out pretty realistic, but wow. It looks like Frederica passed away as well, which means we're left with just Rom and Wilhelm. The Sword Demon versus the Hornless O- I, I think Ram would win. Ram would actually win though. Without Roswall, Rom hasn't been replenishing her mana, so I'd say she's at a significant disadvantage here. Wilhelm's a very powerful swordsman, although he's certainly getting older and he's long past his prime, I still think he would beat Rom. What makes this fight- Yeah, thank you a second for that three months of tier one, man. Interesting though, is that both of these characters have insane one-shot potential. The first one to land a solid hit pretty- Ram has insane one-shot potential? Huh. Okay, I would have loved for her to be in Pristilla right now with the same with Roswell, but it is what it is. Pretty much wins the fight. Rom has a ranged advantage, but Wilhelm's a very fast gap closer. If Rom is somehow able to fight him under ideal conditions, though, I'd say she at least has a chance. This could potentially end in a tie, but either way, I'm expecting to see a very epic battle. Let's go, Rom Ram. unknowingly eats toxic berries. Come on, man. Come on, man. How are you gonna fucking... What's worse, though? Dying by... A tree branch or eating toxic berries? Well, it's humiliating that you ate toxic berries and you basically like ended yourself. Wilhelm may have been defeated by a tree branch, but he still got attacked by someone with malice. Ram basically ended herself, so wah wah. Wilhelm wins! The winner is Wilhelm from District 8. I can't say I expected him to win, but I'll accept the results nonetheless. Wilhelm is a great character who definitely fought hard for this victory, and I'm happy he was able to survive personally. Remember, he got the first blood too. He pre he shoved a fucking spear, a trident to Belsa's ass. Personally, I still think Dona's death was a load of fucking horse shit, but she did make it pretty far, so I'm at least proud of what she accomplished. Congratulations to Wilhelm for winning the ReZero Hunger Games. I hope Amazing. you have a safe journey home and a nice. Does does he get a prize for this or what? Wholesome celebration with your wife. Oh wait, that's right, she's dead. Well, anyway, I hope you guys. And, and there it is. But, uh, that was a pretty interesting video. I, I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? But back then, I guess Hunger Games was trending. He wanted to create like a ReZero video suited around the trending theme. Here's the link to Mr. Echidna's channel and the video. Please give it a like if you did. And I will see you next time.